Hi, Kit Lachlan here. We're going to show you an exercise which in our system is actually Daily 5, the last exercise in the Daily 5, um, but for the rest of the world is a seated piriformis stretch. Now this one, unlike our advanced piriformis stretch which we have on one of the other YouTube clips, this one stretches the greater trochanter end of piriformis. So in combination they actually allow you to stretch the whole thing. So we start like this. I've got this leg folded across like this, and this other leg goes across like this. And the most important thing by far, this hip here gets pressed down onto the floor. Don't worry about this foot coming off the ground, that's completely irrelevant. Then you wriggle around from side to side, sit up straight, and make sure that you can feel the floor pressing against both bottom bones equally. Then lean forward like this, take a breath in, lean forward, hold this leg like so. And this is the really important part, watch this part of the back here. In this position, while holding the knee into my chest, I'm actually going to lift my chest along the leg. I'll just repeat that. I'm going to lift the chest along the leg and that rolls the hips forward and that's what stretches this muscle in the hip here. So I'll do it again. Press against the floor, lift the chest along the leg and then to finish it, bring the knee closer to the armpit like this. Now the contraction is I'm going to press this knee here into my forearm away from the body. Three, two, one, stop. I'm going to lean more weight on my right hip, lift my chest, bring the leg closer in under the armpit and lift my chest once again. And if you get this stretch right, it'll be in this hip here. And then I'm just going to wriggle around and get the right position, lengthen my spine, bring the leg in even closer. And then try to breathe into the hip from the inside. Now you can't see this, but as I breathe in, I'm trying to force all the abdominal contents against the inside of the hip. That also helps. And the last thing is you'll be, there'll be a, a strong tendency not to let this part of the body here relax. Let it go completely limp, take in another breath, and as you breathe out, bring the leg in a little bit closer to the chest and try and pull the chest even further along the leg. Now eventually you'll get to the point where, as you can see here, the ribs are being squashed completely this is being stretched strongly and this knee is very close underneath my left armpit and that's what the whole thing looks like. Try it, your hip will thank you for it.